temperatures dropped uh, so we're preparing this meal in so we're preparing this meal indoors today with that being said the skipper has been quite busy I think we're already around 21 22 trips so far into the small game season for guided grouse and woodcock and with that comes one of our favorite recipes woodcock is one of those that many are unfamiliar with in ways of preparation Typically, they marinate it, wrap it in bacon, throw it on the grill, and who doesn't like things wrapped in bacon? This recipe came about last year. Uh, we were planning on having Woodcock, had it marinating, ready to go, and I was also pregnant, so I kind of wanted Chinese food at the same time and wanted to find a different way that we could cook this. So I came up with Woodcock pot stickers. Say that 10 times fast. To start out, I already have everything prepared, cut up like it's supposed to be. I'll kind of go through the steps. I will eventually post a recipe in the video description once I have it wrote all down. We marinate the woodcock. We leave them rest in the fridge overnight in the marinade. We have our own marinade that we do. Um, you can also use Game Team is one that's commonly sold in grocery stores but what it consists of primarily is red wine vinegar soy sauce wor don't laugh at me i can't say that word but worcestershire sauce a uh, few different seasonings and then i also add in some ground ginger a few other things so i will be sure to post that uh the recipe so i will be sure to post that in the recipe so we got it all minced up i got some I have some cabbage with a little bit of shaved carrots and everything already. To total out, it equals about a half a cup with roughly about three quarters of a cup to a full cup of whatever your main protein is going to be. Granted, we're using woodcock. This recipe also works if you have pork, whatever, whatever works for you. With that, I also have some water chestnuts, bamboo shoots, uh, to total about half a cup. And you can get fancy and use bok choy if you like. For us, we kind of go with what's available in northern Minnesota. Some green onions. I used about, I want to say roughly about six green onions chopped up finely. And fresh grated ginger to total about two tablespoons. I have about four cloves of garlic minced, and we love garlic, so go heavier or lighter on it as you prefer. Now you can use any type of mushrooms that you prefer. Uh, we actually harvest uh, morel mushrooms in the springtime, and we dehydrate some of them to rehydrate and use. So I have a few few tablespoons of morels here. And then we also have, I have about three tablespoons of soy sauce with two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. We're gonna dump that in there and mix it all up nice. And this is gonna be your pot sticker filling. Oh, it smells amazing already. <laughs> Doesn't it? Mm. 
And then to finish it, to kind of help the filling itself set a little bit, I have about two tablespoons of cornstarch just prepared here, but I'm only going to sprinkle as needed if it wants to come out of there. There we go. Now one thing that's not on any traditional pot sticker recipe is going to be sriracha. I just like the flavor. Give it a little extra zap and then mix that in with it as well. And once we got it all mixed up and mixed well, we could start filling our wrappers. All right, now there's no real technique to wrapping these things, and I am by no means a professional. Um, wonton wrappers, they come square, they come round. I happen to find square, so I usually just start them like a little diamond. Then all you're gonna do is drop a little bit right in the middle. And then using water and your fingertips on the edges to create the seal. You just fold them over like so. Press them down so they stay sealed. And there it is. Get the rest of these going here. Some people get really fancy with these things and make little purse pockets and different shapes, styles. So pressing down, you can also fold in the edges like that. I overfilled that one just a little bit. So, keep in mind, you know, we have plenty here, much more than we're going to eat tonight. You can prepare these and freeze them. They'll freeze just fine. Um, take them out, drop them in hot oil whenever you are ready to have them. So... Other than that, I'm going to get busy making them up and Skipper's going to throw them in the oil. All right, now that Elle's got these done, we're ready to put them in the frying oil. This pan here is aluminum cast. We actually bought this in Ely, Minnesota. They are built to last probably our lifetime, our kids' lifetime. Who knows? I mean, they're great for frying. We use it all the time camping, here at home, pretty much anywhere you'd want. Over the fire on a grill, this has been by far our favorite oh, pan. Absolutely. So what we use is peanut oil. We bring it up to temp. Um, we just prefer peanut oil compared to most. We just fry them until they get a light golden color to them, then you just flip them over. And 
Let's go crunch to them. Funny that you prefer this way over a little electric fryer. Oh, this is way better. <laughs> Doesn't take that long at all once you get hot oil. Oh man, this thing smells good already. Let me uh, get the both sides nice golden brown. I like to put them on paper towels. Just takes the grease out of there a little bit, soaks it up. Should look like this when they're about done. All right, now that it's done, we are starving. Um, so we're gonna dig in here. You can serve these with really any side. Um, great as appetizers or whatever you prefer. Uh, obviously- I prefer the jasmine rice. Yeah, I know, you like obviously. the rice, you like the rice. Some of you that may be a little more health conscious prefer greens, but we made rice. Goes green. <laughs> uh, any of your favorite dipping sauces? So we're gonna dig in here. Skipper's already starting. <laughs> so. I've heard. I've been starving all day. <laughs> Long walk in the woods today. He's ready to eat them. So if you like what you see and tried the, <laughs> told you I got. <laughs> Try the recipe, like the recipe, want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more to come. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, under Wheezy Outdoors. Check out our website at www.wheezyoutdoors.com where I have a blog where we like to do fishing reports, hunting reports, or once in a while throw up a crazy recipe. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next time. Look at these doodles. I love eating doodles. Not too bad. Not too bad. I need sesame seeds. That's what I always forget is sesame seeds. Oh, well, you guys are missing out. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Everybody wants to bake and wrap them. Thank you.